Well, it's a geeky fighter MMA here, and this topic's gonna be about um, tomorrow's fight: Korean Zombie versus Yaro Rodriguez. This one's gonna be a. To me, it's gonna be a fifty-fifty. If you were to put money, oh, I do not know. But I would say, I think Korean Zombie is the favorite. But I do not know, man. Because Korean Zombie, his last fight was like a year, about a year ago against Dan Bermudez and uh, he got him out within the uh, first round easily so that was good but um, before that his, uh, the one before that was against Jose Otto which was 2013 so yeah 2013 that's like a five year gap between the Bermudez fight um, I don't know how he's gonna look. It might benefit his uh, durability due to his style. He's like another Gagey in a way. Similar to Gagey, but yeah, this one's gonna be interesting. Yarrow. It's gonna be, uh, to me, I think it's gonna be like a one sided fight. It's gonna go, Yarrow knocks him out in the first. You know, Yarrow knocks him out easily, or he uh, puts the pace on Yarrow, uh, Yarrow and uh, Yarrow gets will get tired, and eventually Zombie will get the finish. Um, we haven't seen much from Yarrow since the Frankie Edgar fight. He got dominated, and the S fight is supposed to be. Chang Sun Zhang, aka the Korean Zombie, versus Frankie Edgar, and uh, apparently Frankie got in, uh, injured, so he pulled out. Yarrow's taking on uh, short notice. Yarrow was. I keep saying Yarrow. Uh, Rodriguez was supposed to be was supposed to fight uh, Zabit Negmaz like, Sheripov a few months ago, but. Uh, quote unquote got injured then was ready to fight him again after the beat fought. I was like, okay. Um this fight before that was against Frankie Edgar and yeah he got just d dominated. Um he's been he took uh, like over a year ever since that fight and I'm pretty sure he's been working a lot on his ground game. It's gonna be interesting if uh, the fight ends up on the ground I'll favor Zombie but I don't know because uh, we don't know what Zombie's been doing like was he <laughs> those layoffs was he training was he just taking you know, was he part time training? I'm sure he was like training here and there, but obviously he was not training and working on his skills like he was if he was competing. The guy, oh, I like Zombie. I say to this day, he's based on uh, paper, he's the most accomplished. Asian fighter, I guess you want to say, uh, just based on paper, I guess, uh, like as far as level of competition as well, you could put Yushin and Kami in there, um, or Kyuji, actually, yeah, I say it's Kyoji or Gucci. You could argue that he's, you can make the argument if he's the best, uh, second best. You know, that's the argument for that. But, yeah, Zombie, I like the guy. He was one of my favorite fighters back in the day due to his style. And, yeah, he's still one of my 
I guess one of my top guys, favorite top guys of all time. But um, yeah, I don't know how he'll look. I I hope he's done with his military service. But yeah, uh, let's see how he does against Yara Rodriguez. Yara Rodriguez. One of the top prospect of Mexico in a long time. He was getting the push. But um yeah, he's getting a big push. Like they want him to be the next you know, they thought he was gonna be the uh McGregor to Mexico. But yeah, he got shut down by Frank Yeager. Up to date, like Andre Feely is his best win. Before that, people were saying BJ Penn, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I think on paper, Chang Sun Zhang has the better wins, but those were also years ago. Uh, I've been watching some of the warm ups, and Chang Sun Zhang, he's always sloppy, but. He looks slow in the warm ups to me. Like, I know they're just open workout, he's probably not. But some people, they're like, during open workout, they want to show off. That's the time to show off, I guess. But yeah, Chang Sun Zhang, always sloppy, but uh, he looks slow. That's the one thing that bothers me, was that his punches, they look kind of slow. Um, and his kick looks slow and sloppy, like, the guy is always sloppy, but I don't think he was that slow last time he, uh, I seen him. Uh, hopefully that won't be a big factor, and that's just a little warm-up thing. Uh, Yarrow, I don't know, neither he catches Jong, or Jong, like, push the pressure. One thing I like about uh, Zhang though is his, uh, he has good shots up the middle, good knees, good uppercuts. Those are like, he has very well timed knees and uppercuts. Everything else is just a little sloppy, but it's still exciting. Yaro, like he's, you know what you gotta get from him. He's gotta try to do those fancy kicks, like a Pettis type. A kick, um, good punching power, good k kicking power. That'd be an interesting fight. You know, Korean Zombie is one of my top favorite guys. Um, if anybody other than that, I don't know. The only ones I liked more at the time was probably Shogun and uh, Whiteman, but. Uh, yeah, Zombie is one of my favorite guys. Uh, I'd be hoping he gets a win. And uh, if he does, I'd like to see where... If he's gonna get a win... I don't know, I'm saying it might be... Uh, yeah. I don't know, I'm... My heart's on Zombie, but part of me feel like Yara uh, might take it. Um, I think Yari is. I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. He. I hope he takes. He makes this up and takes this to the ground too. Hopefully, uh, he gets submit Yari Rodriguez. But if not, you know, it's gonna be a fun fight. It's gonna be like a gagey type of fight. This will be it for this video. This is the geeky MMA fighter here. Peace out.